Greetings, John here with a look at Deus Ex Mankind Divided running on the PS4 Pro. Since the launch of this new console, Deus Ex has quickly become an example of a game that seemingly runs worse on the Pro versus original hardware. But I wanted to see if that was really the case, and even if it was, what are the other improvements here? Well, let's find out. Before we jump into the performance analysis though, let's start with the basics and see what has changed here. The game's Dawn engine has proven to be quite demanding, even on the PC side of things, so I wasn't entirely sure just how high the developers would attempt to push the visuals here. To start with, the team has opted to make use of checkerboard rendering here to deliver massively improved image quality on the Pro, but with a twist. The resolution is adaptive. Essentially, the game appears to switch between two different resolutions based on the load, a full 3840 by 2160 and a slightly lower 3200 by 1800 I counted a number of different shots and was surprised to find that it actually seems to reach and hold a full 2160p in many situations, resulting in a very sharp image here. But even when it does drop to 1800p, it still looks pretty good. The impact on image quality here then is pretty interesting. The game still uses that same overly aggressive sharpening filter from the original release, but thanks to this much higher resolution, the issues are mitigated somewhat, reducing the overall impact. Thin objects such as these trees here also seem to present an issue when using checkerboard rendering, something I've seen in other games as well, but it really stands out here. Texture filtering also remains somewhat moderate throughout, with lost detail presenting itself at oblique angles on a regular basis. The only other really noticeable visual upgrade here, and it's still pretty subtle, are the reflections, which are more detailed and refined than the PS4 Pro. Beyond that though, other details appear to be basically identical between the two. Still, overall, there's little doubt that this is a massive improvement in terms of image quality, and it is a beautiful game on the Pro. But clearly, the point of interest here is the performance. On the base PS4, performance is pretty solid during the missions, with the 30fps target maintained most of the time. But once you head out into the various hubs around Prague, particularly later in the game, performance really starts to drop like a stone. Now on the PS4 Pro, we're seeing a couple of different things here. First, I wanted to check out the game's trouble spots, the hubs. This area is actually one of the more challenging spots in the game I've found, and neither system is able to maintain its target frame rate here. Clearly, however, the original PS4 is the one that suffers from more drops here. There really hasn't been a downgrade in terms of performance in this area at all. Of course, that kind of feels like a consolation prize, since neither version is really smooth here. There are loads of skips and hitches throughout this area, which you can see on the frame time graph over here. While playing the game, it never actually feels especially smooth while exploring this area of Prague. But of course, these hub areas are really heavy across all platforms. I could see that these areas are CPU limited on the PC side more than GPU limited, which potentially means that the improved performance on the PS4 Pro is actually related to the faster CPU clock, which is able to help reduce performance hitches in the zone. So despite the remaining hitches, I don't really think it's a GPU problem here, so the massively increased resolution isn't really the bottleneck. You might also notice that screen tearing has been eliminated on the PS4 Pro, and while tearing isn't a huge issue on the base system, it does pop up now and again along the top of the screen when the engine is stressed, and it's nice to see that it's been eliminated on the Pro. Of course, while this does seem like a great idea in theory, it also might be related to one of the game's problems on the PS4 Pro. Take this scene for instance, a few torn frames on PS4, but a more noticeable dip on the frame time on the Pro. As we continue here, you'll also notice a run of skips along the frame time graph on the Pro, leading to a sensation that the game is kind of skipping. If we jump over here then, you can see what I'm talking about. A general smooth level of performance with hitches and skips throughout. Nothing too serious on its own, mind you, but it kind of adds up to the feeling that the game isn't quite as stable as we'd like. It just feels somewhat hitchy while playing as a result of these spikes, which are absent on the stock PS4. I do have to wonder if the adaptive V-Sync solution used in the base system would actually improve performance here or not. It's hard to say. Of course, that could also conflict with the adaptive resolution system. Who knows?
What's also interesting is that there are scenes where the PS4 Pro pushes way ahead of the base system. This introduction sequence here in the busy train station, for instance, it's filled to the brim with activity, and it struggles to maintain 30 FPS here on the base system. On PS4 Pro, however, the results are dramatically smoother. The system cruises through this entire area with little problem. Unlike the hub zones themselves, aggressive data streaming really isn't required here, which might help avoid some of the hitching that we see. While the CPU upclock then can deal with these spikes on the base PS4, it's a nice improvement overall. But in a few other situations, we actually notice the opposite, with the PS4 Pro dropping some frames as the base system holds steady. This moment in the first mission shows what I'm talking about here. Thankfully, situations like this are generally uncommon, and more often than not, you actually do get faster overall performance on the Pro. I do actually think that it's the addition of the micro stuttering at points where you get these tiny 50 millisecond dips here and there that are contributing to the notion that the game runs worse on the PS4 Pro. So yes, there are more hitches here on the system, but the overall average frame rate is likely higher on the Pro. Still, neither version feels as fluid as it should, which is ultimately a disappointment here. The game just feels somewhat unpolished compared to other recent releases. Which of course is something that does extend to the other versions as well. The game has performance issues on the Xbox One, and of course on the PC you need a very powerful PC to get good smooth frame rates at higher resolutions. More so than many other games released during this period. Ultimately though, the PS4 Pro does actually offer the best console experience for this game, even if it's not quite what we'd like to see. Plus, despite some mixed reviews, I still think it's an absolutely excellent game that is well worth playing. And it's not like the series has ever been known for a highly polished presentation after all. Anyways, that about wraps up things for now. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like, subscribe, and follow us on Twitter. And until next time, this is John signing off.